If I had to describe Arc Search in one sentence, I would tell you it's a way to generate Wikipedia articles in the style of Axios with a smidge of AI hallucinations thrown in just for fun. Now, I'm as big an Arc fan as you're going to find. I love the app on the Mac, um, and I am wearing a shirt from them right now about their Windows app that's coming soon. And I am a big fan of what they do. I think they've done a really great job making a web browser on the desktop, but mobile has been a gap for them. See, for the longest time, they just didn't have a mobile presence at all. It was a Mac app and that was it. Uh, they did release kind of this companion app a while ago that was really limited. And at first they didn't even let you set it as your default browser. Eventually they did, but it was just, it was too limited. It didn't really do enough. It was kind of this weird like middle ground app. It did really take off and the company has kind of readily admitted that and they've delisted the app and they've replaced it basically with Arc Search. And Arc Search is meant to be the first step in their build out of what they consider a really mobile first, mobile friendly browser for the iPhone and Android eventually as well. I will tell you up front that I don't think this is gonna be my default browser anytime soon on the iPhone. There's a couple reasons for that we'll get into in the demo, but yeah, it's unfortunately just not there yet for me. And I have some issues with how they're doing searching in this that we'll get into in the demo. But yeah, that's more than enough intro for this. So let's jump into the demo and see how the app works. Hey, Matt from the edit here. Just wanted to jump in real quick and say that I recorded this video actually before seeing anyone else's opinions on the app. I wanted to just have just whatever my opinion was be the video. And it turns out a lot of people seem to be very positive about this in ways that I'm a little more skeptical of or have a little bit more feedback on. So yeah, just I, be aware. I know that my take is probably a little more negative than a lot of you guys watching, but uh, hopefully I explain what my issues are with it and that I don't think it's a lost cause. I just think that there's some things I'd like to see them improved and they have some really good stuff here. So anyway, let's jump into the demo. Okay, and where better to start than from the beginning? So let's go ahead and install the app and I'll show you what it does. So First off, the fit and finish in the app is excellent. It looks fantastic. It feels really good. They do some good stuff with haptics. I like a lot of that. What I don't like is that before you've even used the app, they ask you if you want to set it as your default browser. I think that's a little pushy. Um, so I just hit skip. But this is where it gets very pushy. And it's like, are you sure? You really should set this as your default browser. I haven't used the app yet. I don't know if I like it. Don't ask me right now. Especially don't ask me twice. So I'm skipping for now. And then you're presented with this very minimal uh, nice, easy to use uh, interface. So search, that's it. Uh, what do you want to look up? Um, we'll do Green Bay Packers uh, season, right? And so you can search and we'll just do a search on Google and that works fine. And there's my pain from last week, um, ugh, whatever. Um, but anyway, did a search with Google. I will say the first thing you need to know about this is that if you want to use a search engine that's not Google, you can't use Arc Search because Arc Search literally just works with Google. You can't use DuckDuckGo. You can't use Bing. You can't use Kagi, Brave Search, any of those. Forget about them. You don't get to use them anymore. It's all Google all the time. Now, if you don't want to use Google search results, here's where you get into the headline feature in Arc Search, which is Browse for Me. And so if I tap the button next to Green Bay Packers season here, in this case, I'm going to put the phone down because this is going to take a minute. It's going to basically look through the top results on Google and it's going to generate a page for you. And I described this as a Wikipedia page in the style of Axios. And once it happens, you're going to see what I mean by that. And this also gets us into the first irony of Arc Search, which is pitched as a quicker way to do searches on your phone. The use case is, hey, I want to use my mobile browser mostly as a way to search for things and arc uh, search will let you do that quicker. But as you can see, it's very slow, <laughs> right? And this is because it's using generative AI tools like ChatGPT and some other things on the back end. They've said, I don't think they specified which ones, but it takes a while to do this because they have to do the search on Google. They have to pull in the website data into whatever system they have. They need to feed that into their generative AI tools. They need to format that uh, raw text that it gets back from those tools into this. And it takes a while. Um, all we have so far is these first three bullet points. Okay, now it's giving me the top search results. And if we keep scrolling down, I kind of wish it would pin to the bottom. It's still generating things as it goes. And it just takes a long ass time to find anything. <laughs> so that's my number one issue with this is that while it technically makes it easy to enter your search query, if you're using the hallmark feature of the app, the main reason to use the app, it's so slow. It's so painful to actually just wait for this to happen. If you're not in a rush, then no big deal. But then why are you using an app that's 
marketed as a quicker way to search for things. My second issue with this is just the fact that it's giving you all this information, but it's not telling you necessarily where it's getting it from. It's showing you the top search results, and at once it gets to the bottom, which could be another minute or so, it's going to give you a link of like more results. But where are these stats coming from? We all know these generative AI tools hallucinate things from time to time or relatively frequently. How do I know that something like this is true, right? Where do you have this notable stat that Jordan Love had 272 passing yards and three touching touchdowns in the wild card game? Is it from this Wikipedia article? Maybe uh, I could go check it out. It's verified. There's a verified tag on that. If I tap this, it just loads the web page. Uh, there is this cool animation at the top. Um, I'll kind of reload the page so you can see it. I really like that. That's pretty rad. Um, but now I have to search on this page to validate it, and that's kind of a pain. So it would be nice if on every single bullet point, it told me what website it got this from so I can validate that it was correct and that I can give some support to these uh, websites that are making the content that ARC is building off of. Um, another thing that's a little unclear is these photos at the top. These, this is a photo gallery. What are these? Can I tap on one to kind of see it in full screen? No, it actually loads a website. So these are links to other um, places. I think they should make these more clearly links by putting the domain underneath the image just so it's clear that you're going to go somewhere else. People kind of understand that. If there's articles, maybe put the headline there. Um, yeah, so that's what I would say. Um, I would love to see them more clearly, more explicitly support the places that are giving them this information. Um, yeah, at the bottom, we do have this dive deeper, but like this isn't ideal in my opinion. It would be great to be able to validate each bullet point in real time. Um, I will say if we go to, um, let's go to the ESPN page for this, for example. Um, if I do this, I can go ahead and hit the arrow at the bottom right and I can find the URL. I can favorite it if I want to make this a page that I come back to regularly. I can find on page so I can find text on this page. Um, I can also copy the URL and share it with the Iowa share sheet. I can gift arc, which is just sharing a link to the app store page for this app. And in settings, I can see my settings for blocking ads, cookies, and trackers. That's all kind of built in uh, to Arc. Uh, so that's kind of nice. You can do default search, uh, or sorry, default browser there. And then you can tell it when you want to clear inactive tabs. What are inactive tabs, you may ask? Well, if you press the icon in the bottom left, that's going to bring up your history. And it's kind of this iOS style switcher. And if you want to get rid of something, like let's get rid of this score from last week, I can swipe that away and now that's gone from my history. It's automatically going to archive on whatever schedule you want. Um, to do another search, um, you would just kind of go in here and if we uh, force close the app and then open it again, it's going to open directly to the search with the last things that I looked at uh, over here and I can get out of this and kind of go back to this view if I want to. So there's some good stuff here. The app is really well made. It's really a pleasure to use. But I do think the performance is a little weird. It's very slow to actually pull up a result. It's quick to enter the result. But again, if you're using the Browse for Me feature, which is the number one differentiator for this app versus using Google Search app or DuckDuckGo's or Kagi's or whatever one you want to use, the big differentiator is this Browse for Me, which is is cool, but is super, super slow, doesn't clearly link out to where it's getting specific facts from, and I think could use some UI iteration. This is an initial release from them, so I hope that they improve this. But one of my big concerns personally with these generative AI tools is that it's taking all the value from the people who make things, who make value, who report news, who report information, who are doing all this stuff, and they're taking the value away from them and just t sucking it into themselves. Um, I'd love to see them more clearly link out to those things so that I can validate them as well as support these sites that are creating this information in the first place. So that's a quick look at uh, ARC Search and hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.